What's going on YouTube, it's Gadgets Boy and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be taking a look at the new Galaxy Watch. Besides the Galaxy Tab S4 and the Galaxy Note 9, Samsung also launched the new Galaxy Watch, which also sounds like they've ditched the S in the watch branding, but who knows. Anyway, let's see what's new. It comes in a 42mm and a 46mm size, so choose whichever one sits on your wrist very well. Uh, so there's a standalone LTE version as well, which is coming to the UK, praise the Lord. The 46mm is 13mm thick and weighs 63 grams without the strap, with plenty of strap color options available. The smaller version weighs just 49 grams without the strap attached. You can choose between a midnight black version or the new rose gold color. We still have the signature rotating bezel, plenty of watch faces available as well. It's waterproof by up to five meters deep. You got AMOLED display, which is nice and bright. What I'm excited about though is the battery life, which Samsung quoted as up to seven days. Uh, the 46 mil Samsung Galaxy watch has 472 million power battery while the smaller model is only 217 million power battery cell in there so you also get bixby now built in so you can use that for dictation control or whatnot it might be similar to s voice but i believe bixby is a lot more intelligent so that might prove to be better in general there's also a new stress monitor feature which means uh, your watch will monitor your heart rate and when it goes over certain amounts or if it's too high it will tell you to simmer down just calm down take a breather and start again uh, for pricing, the 42mm watch is $329.99 for the Bluetooth version and the LTE version you just have to check with your network provider because in the UK I think E will be the one is to stock them first. For the 46mm version you'll have to fork out around $349.99 for the Bluetooth version and again you'll have to check with your network provider for how much it will cost to get the LTE version. In the meantime guys let me know what you think, would you get one of these? Does it look good? I had a feel for it, it feels lighter, it feels nicer. In fact, I like some of the straps and the color options available as well, which is pretty cool. I'm excited about the battery life because that's something that I hated about my Gear S3 watch. Thanks for watching and I hope I see you guys in the next one.